What's up, Team Self? My name is Jess Sims. And I'm Selena Watkins. Today, we're going to do a full body cardio workout. Yes, so it's gonna be about 35 minutes long. We're gonna be doing the whole thing along with you. So we'll start off with a four minute warm up, and then we'll go into a six station circuit. So we'll spend 45 seconds with each skill, 15 seconds of rest, we'll do that three times. Don't worry, we'll give you an extended rest in between each of those rounds. Then, our favorite thing to do is end each workout with a burnout. So we'll talk about our chipper that we'll get into. Are you ready, Selena? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. So 30 seconds with our first warm-up activity. We have uh, butt kickers. Here we go in three, two, one, right here. So just warming up the body, getting everything nice and loose. Nothing too crazy just yet. Your heels just to your glutes. Good, your hands can just be kind of up here by your chest. No tension whatsoever in the neck, the shoulders, the arms, nothing. Just get everything nice and loose. 10 more seconds. Good. We're then gonna meet in a high plank position. We're gonna go into a down dog, into push-ups. Here we go in three, two, and one. This high plank position here. We're gonna do one tricep push-up, and then we're gonna go back to a down dog stretch. Now, you can always feel free to drop down to the knees to get that full extension all the way down, and then you come to that down dog stretch. That feels so good. It feels amazing. So good. 10 more seconds here. Awesome job, guys. We're then gonna transition into forward lunges in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so two options with your hands. They can be behind your head to open up your chest and remind you to keep that good posture, that nice flat back. Or you can have your hands on your hips like Selena, as long as you're driving through that front heel to come back to standing. You have 15 more seconds. Good, big exhale as you push back up. Inhale as you lower. Good. We're gonna go into those touchdown jacks now in three, two, and one. So squat down, touch the floor. Good. If this is too much too, guys, if that hop is too much, you can give us that squat, and then just hop it in here, walk back out to that squat, hop it back out. Totally up to you. Take this warm up as you need it. Good. 10 more seconds, we're back to the top. Awesome. We're gonna go back to those butt kickers in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, round two. Let's do it. Yep, Ari, I'm warm, are you? Yeah, very warm already. <laughs> so wedding. Good. 20 more seconds. Getting the heels all the way to those glutes. Focusing on that breath. We have 10 more seconds. Absolutely. Good. We're gonna go back to that push up with the down dog. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. That one nice push up into that down dog stretch. Yes, feels so good. I'm gonna hold that there. Remember, you can always scale it down to those knees. Good. More than halfway there. Get the heels to the floor. Beautiful. Awesome, guys. We're gonna come up for those forward lunges in five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, pick that hand placement. Here we go, forward lunges. Come back to standing. So very, very important, I'm gonna show you here. When you come back to standing, you don't want your feet to come too close together because then you're gonna feel very wobbly. You want them to be right under your hips. So here, drive through that front heel, come back to that standing position. Good, we have 10 more seconds here. Try to get that knee all the way down to the ground. You want to test your mobility and your range of motion. Yes. Good, we're gonna get that heart rate up with those touchdown jacks. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Last little bit. Good, guys. And 20 more seconds. Beautiful. This is just the warm up. We're just getting started. <laughs> right? Nice. 10 more seconds. Beautiful. We're done in five, four, three, two, and time. Whew, check out those legs a little bit. Good. Are you guys ready? We're ready. So remember, three rounds of these six different movements, 45 seconds each. Go at your own pace. We'll show you lots of different modifications to make sure that you are where you need to be, okay? We're gonna start with those mountain climbers. Coming into that high plank position, we're Fingertips gonna go- wide. 
Strong base. Three, two, one. Bring the knees into the chest. Bring the belly button in towards the spine. Good, shoulders right on top of the wrist. Beautiful, so, as you can see, getting the heart rate up, right? Breathing heavy from just doing it a few seconds. Also strengthening, so Selena's chest, her arms, her triceps, excellent. She's bra bracing her core belly button in towards the spine. Her butt is nice and low, but her hips are bridged up, they're not sagging low. Notice she's also going at a different speed. You might want to go a little bit faster, you might want to go a little bit slower. You listen to your body. We have three rounds of it, you might want to try all different speeds. Good, we're gonna rest very, very soon. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. This next one's a killer. It is. <laughs> we have we're half doing it with you. We're doing it with you, so join us. Yes, so we're gonna start with our chest on the floor. Here we go in three, two, and one. We're gonna drive up. We're gonna come into that frogger position. Your feet go outside the hands, go right back down to the floor. Yeah, so it's that explosive movement. You wanna press your palms into the ground. You extend up. Make sure you drop your hips. If you do this, that might put a lot of pressure on your lower back. So all the way down. Whew. Exhale as you bring those feet nice and wide. So you do wanna look like that frog, your toes and your knees pointing out. You should feel a nice big stretch in your hips. Yes, it actually feels really good in the hips. Feels really good. Good. Whew. Last 10. Stay with it. We got that rest coming up. Five, four, three, get that last one. Two, and one, awesome. Ah, high five on that. Awesome job, yes. That's how you start. All right, so now we're gonna go into some lateral lunges. We're gonna go to the right side first. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Big lunge forward, all 10 toes are facing forward. Bring your feet back, hip width apart. Send your butt back team every single time. So it's not here, right? Because my toes are pointing in and I'm sending my butt out. You wanna send your butt back every time. So if I were to bring my other leg in here, I would be in a squat position. That's how you know that you're doing this lateral lunge correctly, okay? So back here, drive off that heel, feet come back right under your hips. How do you feel, Selena? Feels good. It's good. like a different range of motion. You're thinking about your side space more than your sagittal plane. So really think about coming to that big jump side to the right, big, big step. Nice, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it yeah. out, awesome guys. Now we just do the other side. Yes, that's it. So make sure bring your feet back right under your hips to maintain that balance. Let's do this other side in five, four, three, two, and one. Big step out to the left, feet come back. Send that butt really far back, guys. A lot of times we move forwards and backwards, but we neglect the lateral portion of the workout. So this is super, super important. Nice, sending that butt back, using the arms as counterbalance every time. Good. And do that little squat trick that I showed you here, just to make sure that all 10 toes are facing forward and that your knees are not over your feet, that you're sending your butt back here. Don't forget that giant step, yes. big step side. Good, 10 more seconds, we got it. We're gonna get off these legs very soon, we promise. Good, five, four, three, two, and one, yes. Awesome. Keep going. We're gonna go down for triceps push-ups, here we go. Now, go at your own pace team, 45 seconds is a long time, we'll talk about modifications. High plank in three, two, and one, so you wanna squeeze your butt and squeeze your quads. You don't want your butt up here in the air because then you lose that engagement. Lower down all the way, team. Bring the elbows outside your rib cage. Push back up as you exhale. Chest all the way to the floor. Big exhale. Very, so I have my knees down. Yes. But when you come down for the tricep push-up, even if your knees are down, you wanna make sure your butt's not up. You still come into the same position so that if your legs are straight, it's the same, same line. Yep. So they should be, your elbows should be super close to your rib cage every single time. You only have 10 more seconds, let's do this. Good. Same muscle groups on the knees, team. It's all about that pace in five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Whew. Okay, last <laughs> one, and then we're gonna rest for 90 seconds, okay? We have a rotating forearm side plank. Let's make an equal sign here. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. This is not about speed whatsoever. You're just gonna rotate to one side, look up at that right hand. You're gonna replace that arm back down and notice how my feet are staggered, right? Staggered here so that the sides of my seekers are on the floor. Try to raise your hips once you get to that side plank. Try to raise them even higher. Yes. So we never wanna sag those hips down because then we lose that oblique engagement, right? Keep it up. If you want even more of a challenge, you can stack your feet, which also works <laughs> your ability to balance, right? Because it's much harder to just turn on one foot instead of two. Good, keep that oblique up on each side. Come on, final seconds, then we rest. Good, in five, four, three, two, and rest. Done. Spirit fingers, yes. Woo! Awesome job. Set number one done. Yes, two more. Grab some water, kind of stretch out, shake it out. Awesome job, guys. What was your favorite one? My favorite. Probably the lateral lunges. Okay. Yeah. We focus a lot on forward motion, reverse lunges, pendulum lunges, so this is nice to get to a different range of motion. Yes. It should feel really good to your body. And those feel new. Yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> awesome. We still have 45 more seconds, team, so take the time right now, stretch it out, grab water, towel off. Very, very important when we do interval training or high intensity interval training that you actually take the intervals. You go really, really hard so that you earn that rest because you'll definitely need it. Same with your rest days. It's, it's not always about going so hard every single day. Use your rest days, stretch, sleep, get <laughs> yes. what you need to recover and reset so you can go back at it and feel your best. Yep. So guys, round two, we know what to expect. We know the transitions. Let's get a little bit tighter, a little bit crisper there. All right? Crisp. So yes, crisp. Crisp transitions, that's the key. <laughs> 15 seconds, guys. We're gonna meet in that high plank for the mountain climbers. Yes, shoulders under the wrists. Set your intention for this Top set. Wrist. There we go, in five, four, three, two, and one. That's good, team. Good, pushing forward, not away here, like we're pushing a sled. We're right on top so that we're really having to activate our core. Good, less bounce. More structure here in your movements. Good. 25 seconds. If you're really pulling that belly button in, you should feel this in your lower abs. Yep. Nice. And the hip flexors too. 15 more seconds. Awesome, Selena. Thank you, darling. Good. Flat back. 10 seconds, team. So close. Good. We're done in five, four, three, Two and one. Great. Half burpees. <laughs> you would think that it's half as hard, but in my opinion, I'm pretty sure it's harder. <laughs> yes. Pretty sure. Because the, the top of the burpee is the easier part, That's right? the easier part, yeah. Five, four, chest on the floor. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. Explode up, Frogger. Right back down. Yes. Pace yourself. Whew. There's a difference between going for reps and going for time. So as you can see, we're going for time. So make sure you take your time and not worry about how many you're getting in necessarily. Yes. I feel this in my core. 20 seconds. Yes. Drop the butt nice and low. We got this team. Come on. I really do feel up. like a frog every time I come up. Yes. <laughs> Channel your inner frog. 10 seconds. Good. We've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Yes. <laughs> Whew. Shake it out. Hip flexors. Good morning. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Right lateral lunge in five, four, giant step. Three, two, and one. All 10 toes forward. Back. Yes. Drive through that heel. Good. Really feel every part of your glutes on this. Yeah, you're not just thinking about your gluteus maximus. You're feeling every part to really shape your glutes. Yes, and there's a big difference between dropping your chest here and rolling over too much and causing that stress on your back. So make sure that you're doing that here and not rounding your spine. 15 seconds. Great work, guys. Remember, it's not always about speed. No. Okay? Sometimes we let the momentum carry us through the workout. 
rather than our actual muscles in our core. So take Three, time. two, and one. Shake it out, awesome guys. Awesome. Next Breathe. side. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. In three, two, and one. Big lunge forward to the left. Good. Back. Hip width apart. Nice, team. Don't forget about your abs. You're still scooping them in and up. Every exercise is a core exercise if you make every, it. Every, every, every. Nice. 25 seconds. Think about that form every time. Never sacrifice that form for speed. Good. 15 seconds. So close. This is always easier with a friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Hopefully Good. you have your friend at home. Five. And you have us. Four. Three. Two. And one. Yes. Okay. Keep going. Triceps push-ups, we got this. Down to the floor, we got two more and then we rest. Let's earn that rest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Super close to the rib cage. Yep, you wanna think about your body as a surfboard. Super, super flat, even when you scale it down here. Butt never pops out. You wanna keep everything nice and flat, engage the core all the way down and press up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push up. Awesome, guys. 20 seconds. Push your palms into the floor. We're so close, 15. Spread your fingertips wide so the weight is transferring through your whole hand and not just the butt of your heel, of the hand. Good, team. We're done in five, four, three, two, and one, yes. Yes. Oh. Triceps. <laughs> All right, let's Last do one. Last one here, guys. Make that equal sign in five, four, three, two, one. Engage those obliques, keep that hip up. And this is place. my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot. Especially the opportunity to lift my hip higher. I feel it more right in my obliques as I lift. Yes. And remember the progression. If you want to stack your feet to make it just a little bit more challenging, try it out. Go slow at first. It's never, ever, ever a race. 20 seconds. How you doing, Jess? I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to this rest in 15 seconds, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Good. Last 10. Stay with it. Get one more in in five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo! Yes. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Two down, one to go. Yes. Awesome. Hydrate. Very, very important. It's also important to hydrate before the workout. That's gonna carry you through the workout, so make sure you're hydrating throughout the day so that you, maybe not, you won't need so many sips throughout the workout because your body's already hydrated and prepared for the workout. One minute. I know. What can we do with a minute? Right. <laughs> and roll out these shoulders a little bit and these triceps. Yeah, that feels good. Awesome. So, this is the th arguably the toughest round, right? Because now this is when our brain starts to take over, right? We start thinking about how sore we feel or how tired we feel or what we have to do next after the workout. But try to stay super, super present here for the last, last couple minutes of our workout. Because we only have 10, actually. Yep, 30 it's seconds. Feel good. Three is my favorite number. Three? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's good then. This will be a So, good you guys can do it for me, right? <laughs> One more set. Yes. All right, 20 seconds, guys. We're going to go back to those mountain climbers. Can't wait to say goodbye to those <laughs> until the chipper, right? 15 seconds. Good. And we are almost there, team. Let's do this. We go in five, four, three, Two and one, let's do it. Last time through each skill. Yep, keep that breathing consistent. Try not to bounce. Nice. Palms to the floor, shoulders over wrists. We got this, guys. So close, so close, 20 seconds. 
Keep looking down, never ever pick that head up because that's not getting your neck in a neutral position. So it's gonna cause some more stress and tension. Come on, 10 seconds. We can do 10 seconds. Whew. Yes, we can. In five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Half burpees. 10 seconds. Say, say goodbye to the mountain climber stuff. That was it. <laughs> I'm gonna fake myself out and let, my, let me think that I'm sleeping right now. Here we go in three, two, and one. Get to that frogger position. Nice. Feet nice and wide. Try not to land here, team, because then you're putting all that pressure on your lower back, all right? Make sure you're jumping them wide. Whew. Good, 25 seconds. Hi. We got it. <laughs> so close. I take the opportunity once I come up to scoop my abs in even more. Yes. Nice wide stance. Good, 10 seconds, team. Good. Notice how Selena's heels are on the floor. She's not on her tippy toes when she jumps them in. Good. Three, two, and one. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Okay, lateral, lateral lunges. lunges. Remember that big step. Relax the shoulders, chest up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Good, send that butt back every time. So notice how the left leg is completely straight, the right knee is bending. So we should actually feel a nice stretch here on the left hip flexor. I'm smiling because we're almost done. Ah, 20 seconds. Hopefully you're smiling at home too. Good team. Last 15, we got this. Last time on the side. Good. Almost there. We're done in five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Next side. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. We are. Stay nice and loose. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, Let's hit and it. one. Big step out, butt goes back. Nice. So good, so good. Whew, big exhale as you push up, because that's when you need all that energy. So slow that through with the breath. 25 seconds. You know what else can help? Thinking about the results, thinking about what your legs will look like when you get through this workout and get through the whole challenge. That should help you to really finish. Fall in love with this process, guys. 10 seconds, it's a lifestyle thing. Come on, we're almost there. Yeah, baby. Good, finish strong in five, four, three, two, and one. Legs done. Whew. All right, these triceps. Triceps, let's get these arms. Here we go team in five, four, three, two, and one. Remember, inhale lower, exhale as you push up. Now pace yourself, 45 seconds is a long time. You got this. Make sure your body's nice and long and straight, butt doesn't come up. We have 15 more seconds, team. Scale down to the knees when you need to and come right back off them when you're ready. Last 10. So close. Five, Woo! four, three, two, and one. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. Nice Let's one. do it. One of our favorites. Come on, we'll finish strong. Five seconds. Five, four, make that equal sign. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. Get those obliques. Look up at that hand as it comes up to the ceiling. Good. Keep raising those hips up when you get to that side plank position. Use your forearms to balance. Good. Looking up at that hand is important, team, because if you look forward, you might not get that full extension here on the side. Come on, 20 seconds. 
So close. Last 10. Stay with it, team. We're so close. In five, Woo! four, three, one two, more. Two, and one. Yes. Done. Rest. <sighs> oh, any seconds. Done Take with your time. the circuit. Oh, but we have something else in store for you, so you just wait. <laughs> so. So now we burn out. We burn out. That's what we have left. <laughs> we have a chipper. So we're gonna chip away at 40 reps, 30 reps, 20 reps, 10 reps. These are the skills. 40 air squats, 30 mountain climbers, single count, so every one is one, 20 bicycle crunches, and 10 touchdown jacks. When you're done, if you have about a minute or less left, you're gonna hold a plank. If you have a long time left, we're gonna challenge you to go right back up that ladder, all right? So again, that's 40 air squats, 30 mountain climbers, 20 bicycle crunches, and 10 touchdown jacks. Don't be discouraged, you can do this. Yes. Just pace yourself. We got this. 30 more <sighs> seconds, team. 30 seconds to get your mind right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now remember, I'm just gonna show one quick thing. Sometimes when we get tired, we lose sight of the depth in our squat. So this is not a squat. We want all the way down, all the way up. So it Ooh. should take you more than 45 seconds to do. So if that's happening, you're doing it right. All right, 10 seconds. Shake it all out. 40, 30, 20, 10. Five, four, Let's get it. three, two, and one. All the way down and up. Yes, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys, you're with it. Nice and low. Ooh, it's burning. It's burning so good. <laughs> this is 20. Halfway there. Nice. This is 30. 10 more. Whew. Yes, eight, nine, 10, 40. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out real quick. 30 mountain climbers. Go at your own pace. You're with me, you have three more. Last one, sit it low. Come on. 20. 30, all right. Flipping it over. Bicycle crunches. One. 10. Nineteen. 20. All right. 10 touchdown jacks, deep squat. One, two. Joining you, Jess. So you got it? Seven, eight. Yes, 10, okay. Remember those two options. You can either go back up that ladder or you can hold this forearm plank. Shoulders right on top of the elbows. You're gonna have your forearms flat point. on the floor. Yes. Awesome, guys. Remember, butt down, squeeze your butt in your quads. You got this. How are you feeling, Selena? Feeling good, got my eyes closed, zoning in. I'm zoning out. <laughs> yes, good. Couple options here, whenever you start to feel a little fatigue, you can come up into that rotational side plank here, just to kind of get to some pressure off the main abdominal portion and get to the sides, get right back into it. Remember, that added challenge, if you wanna go back up the ladder, 10 touchdown jacks, 20 bicycle crunches, 30 mountain climbers, and 40 air squats, see how high you can get back up. Good. Hold it, team, we have 60 final seconds. If you need to get into that child's pose to stretch it out, if you need to go into a quick down dog, do whatever you need to do, team. This is your workout. You finish strong, whatever you decide to do. So close. 
So close, 45 <laughs> seconds. Yep, butt down. If you're shaking, that's a good sign. That means muscles are working. Good. Come on team, home stretch, last 30 seconds. We got this, you guys. Whoo, it's gonna feel so good to rest. Come on, we got a cool down coming up. So good. Stay with us team, come on, 20 seconds. That core is on fire. Sweat dripping, we got this. I guess that's why we call it a burnout, right? Yes. Because <laughs> it's supposed to burn, come on, 10 seconds. Hold it. We're done in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Whew, that was no joke, okay. guys. Two hands on this Two one. hands on that one. Awesome job. All right, let's bring it down to our backs. Let's hug our knees into our chest and just breathe. Wow. Just rock side to side. Focus on that breath, bringing the heart rate down. Stretching is also an opportunity to just speak to yourself. I like to talk to myself. <laughs> That's good. I do, just speaking good things. <laughs> Sometimes we say so many crazy things to ourselves in our head about what we can and can't do. This is an opportunity to talk about what you can do, but what, all you, what you also just did. Yes, be very proud. You did proud. it, so feel good about it. Good, bring the right foot up towards the ceiling. Grab behind the knee or the calf, ankle circles. Be very proud of what you did. That's not easy. Not at all. The left leg comes back up. Press the right foot on the left knee. Grab behind the left leg for that figure four stretch. Hug it in nice and close. Whew. Good. Send the left leg back down. Right leg goes across the body. Look over that right shoulder. Put some pressure on that right knee to bring it to the floor to get that nice spinal twist. You should feel your shoulders stretch as well. And you feel energy from your fingertips all the way to that knee. Feel that opposition. And then roll onto that left side. Let's grab the right foot for the quad stretch. Good. And we'll release that. Come back center. We're gonna do the other side. Left leg comes in. Grab behind that knee or the calf. Ankle circles. Circle, circle, circle. Both uh, directions, both yes. directions. Good, bend the right leg back up. Rest the left foot on the right knee. Figure four stretch, hug it in nice and close. You're still aware of how you're breathing here in the stretch as well. Sometimes we get super relaxed with our breath, but still take your time, deep inhales, deep ex exhales. Right leg back down, left leg across the body. Look over that left shoulder, right hand gently placing that left knee down towards the floor. And then when you're ready, we'll roll over onto that right side. We'll grab our left foot for that quad stretch. Yes, those squats, I'm feeling this stretch now. <laughs> yeah, this was really good. Rewarding. Yes. And then we'll release that leg down. Let's roll onto our stomachs here. We'll press the palms into the floor right under the shoulders. Extend up, oh yes, hello mountain climbers, yes. <laughs> Good. Really press your pelvis towards the floor. Press the tops of your feet into the floor. And then as you exhale, tuck your toes under, push back into down dog. Heels go to the floor. Palms, lots of pressure in it so that you feel this all in your upper back. Good. Let's walk those feet in towards the hands. Grab hold of the elbows. You'll feel this in your hamstrings as well. Just let your body be heavy. Sway side to side. Try not to control it. And slowly bring it up in four, three, two, and one, we'll turn and face you guys. We'll interlace our fingers behind our back, squeeze our shoulder blades together, hinge at the hips, bend forward. Try to bring those arms up overhead to wherever feels good. Push-ups. Feeling it. This good. feels great at the front of the shoulder, it really does. Yes, and we'll slowly bring it back up. We'll shake the arms out. 
Interlace the fingers in front, palms go away from us, separate the shoulder blades, hollow out the belly. We're almost there, ladies, we're almost there. <laughs> Keep those arms up, bring it all the way up like someone's pulling you, side to side. Awesome, keeping those arms up overhead, we're going to meet back in the center. Let's all take one big inhale through the nose as we come up onto the tippy toes. Keep it up, reach it up. And then one big exhale through the mouth as we come down. Excellent job, guys. Way to work. High five to you guys. I'm sure you killed it. <laughs> we are excited. We know you killed it. Yes. Have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll see you soon.